Good evening, this is Derek Chamblay, broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta, the next great American city, Battleground Zero, the epicenter of the 2017 civil defense of the United States of America. Still a beautiful uh, evening here in Chamblay, Atlanta. It's winding up on 5.30 in the evening. Still, Tuesday, August 1st. 2017, and uh, of course we're following the breaking news, um, it would make you dizzy, uh, Trump path, and um, we'll, we'll continue to touch on uh, uh, breaking articles, uh, several f uh, things out on um, uh, going back and forth about the uh, the, the Russia investigation uh, connected with uh, Donald Trump Jr. and something to the effect that uh, our current president uh, dictated uh, some sort of uh, answer or response for for his son. And uh, you know, <clears throat> it goes back to uh, some people have compared our current president to to a dictator. Well. You know, uh, you know, take take a take a letter, take a letter, Maria. Uh, send it to my wife. Say I won't be coming home. You know, uh, that kind of thing. You know, uh, uh, the president has got to be able to uh, uh, give direction and and uh, dictate writing and whatnot. And uh, it's interesting that. It, it's being, uh, they're saying, what does he have to hide? And uh, there was some uh, former uh, ethics uh, lawyer of uh, former President George W. Bush making some comments that uh, it, it's, a, it's obstruction of justice, uh, something about beating a witness. <laughs> oh, my. And it, it, it really, uh, and, and uh, I, I would think of it, uh, so what's he trying to cover up? He's, you know, he's, 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 he's attempting to cover up the crime or something was, was the quote, the crime. Hasn't, there's, where's the crime? No crime. No cover. <laughs> no cover. No crime. I, either way, uh, this is being bandied around as, as some sort of obstruction of a, of a crime that, that uh, doesn't even seem to exist. And what is our current president attempting to cover up when they criticize him for uh, maybe not listening to his lawyers and, 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 uh, and uh, saying too much, uh, tweeting too much, and uh, what you... Uh, uh, what you say can and, and, and will be uh, used against you in, in a court of law. Uh, however, so he's being very out front with uh, his first impressions through Twitter and whatnot, and, and very consistent about uh, that this uh, uh, Russian investigation probe of collusion between um, uh, the, the Trump campaign and, and Russia is is just a, a misdirection, a false story. It's uh, uh, at any rate. Uh, and uh, we know from experience, uh, as well as uh, people that have worked around the president over the years, uh, uh, even before he became president, like Roger Stone. And Roger Stone says that, that Trump is his own man. Trump is his own man, uh, and he's been criticized by being, one headline was the inadvisable president, and uh, the ones around him uh, know that he will bandy about various uh, uh, solutions or things that he may do, and then later on make his decision by himself and, and decide to do something totally different. Okay, so uh, so we got a dictator here, all right? And uh, whether or not it's a crime remains to be seen. Whether or not it's a cover-up, uh, uh, no cover, no crime, no cover. Uh, but today we're going back to, we're continuing the Mighty Quill series. And uh, this will be the third edition of Mighty Quill. 100 days. Uh, the first we covered the first 100 days of uh, Donald Trump, but in essence, uh, 
this will be 200 days of his presidency coming up. Uh, this is roughly the 93rd day of his presidency. So uh, we want to go go back to the uh, Mighty Quill. Uh, first edition was really covering uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's first 100 days, uh, which became the standard for a new president. What what uh, does he accomplish in the first 100 days? And we know that our current president. Uh, has been uh, uh, basically saying he's he's accomplished, uh, signed on to more things, and accomplished more things in in his first uh, uh, 100 days than than uh, any other president, and uh, uh, and, he, and he he even was going to accomplish some things on day one, like the uh, uh, particular. Uh, uh, repeal of Obamacare and replacement of Obamacare on day one, on day one, or at least the repeal on day one. Wow. Um, at any rate, so we're continuing to follow the kind of, 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 of first uh, 200 days of uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, uh, the cyber circle time going back to uh, 1933 his first year in office, and the interesting thing, we're going to back up a little bit, uh, about 19 days uh, as president-elect, 19 days before his March 4th inaugural, we're picking up the story, um, and uh, this has a lot to do with looking presidential, uh, which is another point. Uh, we've, we've touched on before, uh, and, and it's by the History Channel, this day in history, February 15th, 1933, again, 19 days before President Franklin Delano Roosevelt's inaugural, he's in Miami uh, making a speech, just, uh, I'll, I'll uh, start at the top, and uh, the headline, uh, and it's, 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 uh, it's indexed presidential in the History Channel. This day in history, FDR escapes assassination in Miami. On this day in, in 1933, a deranged, unemployed bricklayer named Giuseppe uh, Zangara shouts, too many people are starving, and fires a gun at America's president-elect Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Roosevelt had just delivered a speech in Miami's Bayfront Park from the back seat of his open touring car when Zangara opened fire with six rounds. Five people were hit. The president escaped injury, but the mayor of Chicago, Ant Anton Cermak, who was also in attendance, received a mortal stomach wound in the attack. And I uh, want to stop right there. There's been a lot of talk and, 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 and images uh, uh, flashed about uh, assassinating our president. And uh, we want to take this take this uh, a moment to remind people that, yes, we have our freedom of speech in, in the United States of America here, but there, there, there are a couple of things that... Uh, that we don't have freedom of speech to do. And I want to remind people that one of those things is to make a threat on the President of the United States. And uh, really, we, we want to go back also to the, to the, uh, the tweet that uh, candidate Jeb Bush sent of his personal um, monogrammed pistol at a time when he, when his uh, fa uh, father, George Herbert Walker Bush, was seen making some sort of execution uh, uh, motion uh, across his neck uh, in 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 uh, in regard to uh, candidate Donald Trump, and and uh, this this really should be examined as, as some sort of a threat to a presidential candidate uh, through the cyber world. Okay, but uh, is Jeb Bush being held to that? All right, so we want to uh, caution anyone that is making a threat on the life of the President of the United States, even if it's done as, and in, in, in you back off at saying, well, I was just joking, or a, a threat to, to, uh, to blow something up, well, that's not covered. 
freedom of speech. So we're going to continue here. Uh, several men tackled the assailant and might have beaten him to death if Roosevelt had not intervened, telling the crowd to leave justice to the authorities. Sangara later claimed, I don't hate Mr. Roosevelt personally. I hate all officials and anyone who is rich. He also told the FBI that chronic stomach pain led to his action. Since my stomach hurt, I, I want to make even with the capitalists by kill the president. My stomach hurt long time. Well, uh, not as much as the stomach wound to the mayor of Chicago, Sir Mac, who days later uh, died. And uh, we'll continue. Zangara's extreme action reflected the anger and frustration felt among many working Americans during the Great Depression. At the time of the shooting, Roosevelt was still only the president-elect and had yet to be sworn in. His policies remained untested, but reports of Roosevelt's composure during the assassination attempt filled the following day's newspapers and did much to enforce Roosevelt's public image as a strong leader. Uh, he looked presidential, hey? Uh, on Substantiated reports later claimed that Zagar's real target had been Cermak and hinted Zagar's connection to organized crime in Chicago. When Zangara was initially tried for attempted murder and sentenced to 80 years in prison, but when Mayor Cermak later died of his wounds, Zangara was retried and sentenced to death. Zangara died on the electric chair on March 5, 1933, and that was FDR's day one. This is Derek Chambly broadcasting from Chambly, Atlanta. Beautiful evening, winding up on 5.30. It's still Tuesday, August 1st, 9th, uh, 2017, Cyber Circle time. Ah, Mighty Quill, 200 days, Trump path. And uh, we wanted to remind you also, on something like the 63rd day of Ronald Reagan's new presidency in 1981, he survived also an assassination attempt. And had he died that day, guess who would have been president? George Herbert Walker Bush. Derek Chambly, Cy Radio, <laughs> Cyber Citizen Network. Thank you very much.